Hello and welcome to your daily stretches. Today we are going to continue the sun salutation A, but we're going to do um, modified poses. So today we're going to do um, a plank from our toes rather than our knees. And when we do um, cobra in the sun salutation yesterday, we're going to do an upward dog instead. Now, um, I will reiterate, um, doing the sun salutation with good form is much better than doing the harder version, but just causing yourself loads of injuries because your body's not quite ready for it yet. Your body will tell you what it wants from you. It will usually scream at you if it's doing something that it doesn't want to be doing. So please just listen to it. So as with yesterday, I'm going to demonstrate first and then we're going to do it together. So this is a demonstration. Please watch, observe before you attempt it. Okay, so we're going to start in the same way as we did yesterday at the top of the mat. Feel free to put the feet together or you can have them apart making room for your body. Pressing down and pressing out, engaging those big muscles, bring the hands to the heart centre. As we inhale, take the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, come down into the forward fold, bending the knees as much as you need to to get the hands on the floor. Inhale, coming into your forward fold, so stretching from belly button to chin. Exhale, coming back down into your forward fold. Now from here, you can take the feet back into your plank position. And, if, and again, you need to have the shoulders over the hands and you want that yogi grip into the mat and you're going to push into the heels of the feet here suck the belly button in towards the spine and squeeze the buttocks and then that's all going to be done on an inhale then as we exhale we're going to tuck the elbows in and lower ourselves halfway down into our chaturanga and then as we inhale we're going to push the body forwards and we're going to come up into our up dog. So we're up on the toes here. We're squeezing the legs towards each other. The shoulders are relaxing down and you can take a little look up, just being careful not to dump the weight into the back of the neck. And then from here, tuck the toes under, pull the belly button in towards the spine to protect the lower back and push yourself back into a downward dog. And then yogi grip again. Feet are about hip distance apart, chest is moving towards the thighs and just breathing into your downward dog here, feeling that breath travel up and down the spine. Then taking a look up towards the hands on the inhale and as you exhale, jumping the feet up towards the top of the mat. Inhaling, coming into your halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up to your mountain pose. Exhale, back to your hands to heart centre. Okay, so that's the sun salutation A. So now let's do it together if you want to do this one. If you're still working on the one that we did yesterday and that still feels strong enough for you, then just do that one instead, not a problem. And then you can work and build up until you can feel like, yeah, I'm ready to move on, but make sure you listen to your body as I said before. So let's push down, push out, engage those big muscles, hands to heart center. Inhale, take the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, coming down into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, planting the hands and then taking the feet back into your plank, yogi grip. Exhale, lowering halfway down. Inhale, coming into your upward dog. Exhale, pushing back into your downward dog. Just take a breath here. As you inhale, bend the knees, look up. Exhale, jump the feet forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way back up to your mountain pose and exhale hands to heart centre. So that's it for your daily stretches today. 
Obviously, continue with, ever, with whichever sun salutation feels best for you. I hope you've had a wonderful day or you are going to have a wonderful day and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.